as the Saudi Cup lineup is complete. 1,800 meters. We're set. And away they go. Jumping away, Emblem Road was the one who was slowest away, and Frankie de Toy did not get a good start on Real World. Mishrif stays out wide for the time being. The pacemakers now include Secret Ambition, Art Collector moving forward as well. Also onto the inside, that is Country Grammar, who's away well. Tio Kane's nice and prominent, and Midnight Bourbon, who so often gets to the front, is nowhere near it at the moment as Real World improves now on his inside. Sealy Way and Mishrif are right up on the outside, and Mandaloon strides forward pace strong enough as they head then down the far side of the track here the first three furlongs completed out very wide on the track is making miracles tucked in behind the leaders early is Marsh Lorraine the Breeders' Cup winner she's riding behind Sealy Way and look at Tio Keens under pressure the great Japanese horse looks as though he's already spent as they make their way towards the turn out of the back straight Sealy Way struggling as well at the back of the field Magnicor is last Aero Trem one of the back markers as well the pace here unrelenting the Saudi Cup leader is secret ambition with art collector now on his shoulder behind him country grammar they're followed by Mandaloon splitting those two is midnight Bourbon who will still turn in with a chance what a big run from making miracles on the outside the local horse followed round by emblem road as well looks as though Mandaloon is now absolutely cooked as they come down the home straight here in the Saudi Cup and it's anybody's race midnight Bourbon trying to take it up here Country Gamma goes with him, in behind the local horses, making miracles, finishing off well, and so too Emblem Road for what would be a massive turn up. Emblem Road is being roared home by the locals. Country Grammar and Midnight Bourbon next. Emblem Road to the front, a huge shock, but they love it here in Saudi Arabia. Emblem Road has toppled a lot of them. Beats Country Grammar, Midnight Bourbon. Aero Trent ran really well in behind them as well by making miracles and looking way, way back. Mishrif has come home last of all. No show from last year's winner. They were followed home by Sealyway as well. But this is all about Emblem Road. Astonishing local win. Set to go. Anxious looks at the starter who sends them on their way. And away nicely was Faz Zay on the wide outside. And Rudy Trigger begins very brightly as well. But to, to the front here in the stripes, Dancing Prince showing the best overall speed to lead from Beehive. And then good effort towards the inside of them. And then Rudy Trigger, who's trying to go with them as well. Just in behind these leaders and not far off the pace is Dolma. Often a front runner. Can't get to the front tonight, though. Rock Sound is just going past Dolma, who's struggling. Capano kicking will be ridden for a little bit of luck. In behind them, staying to the inside. Gladiator King out wide, widest of all is Switzerland who's just come past, Chain of Love and then further back is Sunset Flash as they head then back towards the home straight and up front Dancing Prince in charge here, in second place good effort trying desperately hard to close, these two have opened right up, Capano kicking, surely can't repeat last year's win down the outside Chain of Love but it's still Dancing Prince who's rolling on from good effort, the others are not getting any closer, Dancing Prince for the first time bought under under pressure but can now coast home to give Christophe Lemaire an unforgettable four-timer on the night. They've all won so brilliantly and Japan continue to fly. And away they go. Oskula jumped fair enough, slowest away was Kiefer and also a bit slow to get going was Island Falcon up on the wide outside of the field. But three early pacemakers, they include the black jacket of I Am Magic who is now being joined by Consiglieri and uh, that man Le Maire trying to get close to the front as well. But Pinehurst for the States has just come through at the end of the first quarter of a mile to lead the field. Jacinda eases back into fourth place. Then the red cap of Godolphin, carried by Sovereign Prince, just moving a little bit closer now. Noble Truth in mid-division. The pace looks hot here. Oskula already hard under the pump. Getting plenty of kickback there. The Wizard of Eye racing towards the inside. Mishrif's colours carried here by Al Nada on the wide outside and is breezing nicely into contention as well and has moved ahead of Al Mutana, who heads the rest. Seki Fu's got a, a lot of, a lot of work to do and they look like two separate races here with these pacemakers led by Pinehurst bursting clear. So Pinehurst, I am Magic, Conciliary, 
and Sovereign Prince up on the outside. Alnada's into fifth place and then comes the Wizard of Eye who is still staying on. Kiefer comes next. We'll watch for those closes if they've gone too hard. They may play a part. Closing stages then, straining for home. Pinehurst on the inside rail here. Has all sorts of challenges. Conciliary in the middle. On the outside, Sovereign Prince. Then we've got Alnada still staying on. Sekifu staying on strongly as well. Pinehurst so gutsy. Just out in front. 100 metres left to last home. Sekifu is the one finishing very hard. On the outside, Pinehurst with Sekifu. A neck away. Pinehurst lasted home. And away they go. Nef Road, the one who half reared coming out of the stalls. But they're off and running, and Princess Zoe staying out wide, showing some reasonable speed though as well. Stay foolish away nicely through the first 150 metres, and now comes through to lead. So under man of the moment tonight, Christophe Lemaire. Stay foolish has got the lead. Princess Zoe right on his shoulder though in second place. Behind those is the rapidly improving Siscani. Another step forward required tonight. Fourth place, the red cap of Desert Fire and Sunny Boy Liston and Baron Samdi are just in behind these leaders as well. Nayef Road has recovered after that slightly tardy start. The white cap of Godolphin is carried by Dubai Future as they round the first bends. Scazino is further back in the field together with Mirinac, who's the grey held up just ahead of Glycon. Glycon is then followed by Derivo in company with Luganini and Fabilis sits last of all under Sylvester de Souza. So out in front, stay foolish. Christophe Lemaire with an untroubled lead once again. They're not taking him on early. First third of the race now behind them. Princess Zoe still in second place as Nayef Road makes progress around the outside to come and join her. In fourth place is Siscani. Siscani just ahead of Desert Fire and then Sunny Boy Liston and Baron Sandy. Scazino's in behind those, racing together with Dubai Future, and then they're a little bit more strung out after that, with Mirinac still racing just ahead of Glycon. Glycon's a length and a half ahead of Derivo at the back end of the field, with Luganini and Fabalis is still right at the back of the field. So they turn once again into the back straight, and taking them there is Stay Foolish, who still has this untroubled, unpestered lead of a length and a half. Nayef Road in second place, Siscani within striking distance in third. He's just backed off slightly on Princess Zoe, but she's still right in the thick of things, the grey on the wide outside. Sunny Boy Liston with every chance from there as well in fifth place, that one tracking Siscani. Joining in with them now on the outside is Desert Fire moving closer, and also for Godolphin Dubai Future with that white cap. Baron Samdi slightly further back, Miranik is next, so then comes the French pair, we've got Scazino who's racing ahead of Glycon and then comes Derivo and still Luganini at the back with Fabilis as they now begin the turn for home. They've got under half a mile left to go from this point. Le Maire looks comfortable leading on here on Stay Foolish. Nayef Road, the first of the leaders to come under pressure. On his outside, Princess Zoe. Siscani's going great guns right in the slipstream of the leader as Sully Boy Liston now comes under a bit of pressure. Dubai Future staying on. Baron Samdi and also staying on is Miranak as they come for home now. Stay Foolish is out in front still. Over a length clear. Siscani's asked all the questions now. Can't close. Stay Foolish foolish the gap grows in third place is sunny boy liston back in fourth is dubai future and stay foolish this is a dream night for the land of the rising sun in the setting sun here of saudi arabia stay foolish gives them another winner japan on fire and it's christophe lemaire again he made all and we're good to go. Pogo got an absolute flying start. Hung right, though, slightly out of the gate. Soon corrected. Enscheiden's driven right up there. And on the wide outside, Happy powers away well. Cutting across now together with Naval Crown. They both bounced, really bounced from their wide draws and are now able to move to the front. He's done so well. Naval Crown's got to the lead, if a little keen. Pogo followed them by Happy Power. They remain prominent. Third Kingdom's in fourth place as they race towards the first bend. Masabi's towards the inside, Songline and Casa Creed together with Cold Front all mass up in behind them. Off the pace at the moment is Thunder Moon, so too is Happy Romance on the inside running rail. Behind Casa Creed is Enscheiden, a little bit outpaced and short of room. Laura Sion now makes some progress. Rohan will have to come from way, way off the pace as they now streak into the home straight and Naval Crown taking up a narrow advantage here from Pogo in second place. They
They straighten inside the final two furlongs. Naval Crown from Pogo. After these, we've got Happy Romance trying to stay on together with Happy Power. Down the outside, Song Line for Japan getting involved. Casa Creed coming home strongly as well from off the pace. It's all change late. Happy Romance joined by Song Line. Casa Creed trying to join in with them as well. Song Line in the middle of the three goes to the line. Song Line for Japan again. Casa Creed, oh, another three strides. Would have got there, but not tonight. Happy Romance ran a fantastic race. Explosive action from now on, though. We're underway. Saudi Cup night is off and running with the Neom Turf Cup. Pile driver holds his ground on the wide outside early, but Authority strides forward and Solid Stone is the only one to want to go with him at the moment. Slotting in just behind them, Harovian, Frankie Dottori well placed, and Passion and Glory just in behind those, racing together with Flying Visit. And now they flash past the winning line, the bend comes right up. Pile driver has just eased himself in behind Harovian. He's still on the wide outside, but no worse than sixth place at the moment with Eudaimonia just in behind those. Grosser Jack is in the middle of the pack, Pile driver towards his outside, and then a bearer just in behind those under Christoph Sumion. For the States, Channel Cat is well off the pace at the moment. La Casa Tarifa also towards the rear end, and Zuran Zuran is our back marker as the runners head down the back straight with the first half mile well behind them. Authority then in front. Solid Stone to the outside is now dropping back to be a half a length off the speed. Behind those is Flying Visit, well in touch still, in company there with Passion and Glory, and Harovian still right there towards the outside, seeing plenty of daylight. Pile Driver holding his position comfortably. He's got Ebira just in, on his inside, and that now these two will come close together as they head towards the second last turn in the race. Eudaimonius towards the inside, followed by Grosser Jack. There's a move now from La Casa Tarifa towards the outside, and Channel Cat tries to follow her through. At the back end of the field, we've got Zuran Zuran, trying to make progress with Kaspar and the back marker is Arctic Sound. Authority is the one to pass and they're turning off the final bend into the home straight. Harovian goes in chase, followed then by Flying Visit. Not much more coming from Solid Stone. Oh, we got a faller further back in the field as now Ebira tries to make ground with Grosser Jack as well. And it was Channel Cat, the one who came down. Authority for Japan though, is out in front from Harovian, Ebira. Then we've got Grosser Jack staying on together with Kaspar, ghosting on the scene late in the day but authority's just too good and Japan start the night in wonderful style.